Hi, so it's been a while since I've vlogged, so I thought I'd just turn on my camera and talk. And for various reasons, by the way, I'm planning on going down and taking you guys on a hiking trail. You know, like the ones that Veritasium used to do. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought like I'd... You know, you know, it's been so long since I started Veritasium, right? It's been eight years. And recently, with um, the addition of Stand Up Maths, and now Steve Mould, actually, um, people have been asking me, like, what, what, what on earth do I actually do behind the scenes? And, and, and on top of that, there's another, a whole, like, zoo of other reasons I wanted to ah, talk about this for a bit. That was a very steep step. Um, and so, yeah, I thought, you know, kind of following in what the footsteps of what Derek used to do, I'm just going to ramble. This whole thing is unscripted. The waterfall is very loud. Um, and yeah, hopefully the path through the power of editing, I can manage to put together some form of story. We're going to go down there. So yeah, I guess the first question a lot of people have when they learn that I do this stuff is, am I getting paid? And the answer is no. Um, Derek's not paying me, neither is Matt nor Steve. And frankly, I don't want to be paid. Um, but then the follow-up question that a lot of people have is, well, then why? Like, why am I doing this? And frankly, I, I don't know. It's very passion, at least. Started with me just wanting to share the science channels on YouTube with my China friends. And, you know, with the Great Firewall and, like, political barriers and stuff. Um, you know, they, they can't access YouTube. Like, I started sharing YouTube links on my WeChat account and stuff, and people are like, oh, I can't watch this. Like, what are you doing? Um, so, and so with Veritasium, at least, I got his permission and I started uploading his videos just onto Yuku with no translations, just so I can share those links with friends. Um, and then, you know, I, I don't know what Derek saw in me initially, but then, like, somebody reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want to upload to Bilibili? You'll have to learn subtitles and stuff, but you know, this could potentially bring in a lot of um, viewers and audience and whatnot. And like, I, I learned from scratch. I really did. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, a few people like showed me the softwares and stuff and I just started playing around with the software. And I can link to a video on the card here, here. I think it's this, in this direction. It's been so long since I vlogged. I can link to a video where, you know, like literally one of the first times I sub subtitled was I just took a screen grab. I didn't know how to burn the subtitles properly onto the video. And so I just did a screen grab of the video and uploaded it to Billy Billy. And people were complaining that like the frames were drowning and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I know because I was taking a screen grab. <clears throat> Man, these waterfalls. These waterfalls don't make it easy, but look how gorgeous they are. Whew. Um, anyway, also I'm trying to like not fall. Like these steps are pretty steep, as you can see by the ones that walked down already. Um, so yeah, that that's the story of Veritasium and like what, how, how it came to be. And so you might rightfully be asking, well, what am I getting out from Chinese Veritasium right now by subtitling and like learning all this, all this software and stuff? And honestly, I, I don't know. Like, it's just fun for me right now. It's not too terribly time consuming. And why am I on these rocks? And honestly, I just enjoy seeing the process too. Working with three different YouTubers now, like, I mean, I don't know much about Steve's process, honestly, but Derek and Matt are completely different in terms of how they organize and run the channel. And like, people that know me know that I used to do Unerotic Enthusiasm with, you know, C.I. Lacey, Robin, Zoa, Linda, Marcus, I think was his name. Um, and I used to have an origami channel, which I might, which I might be considering reviving. It's Origami Adventures if you want to look it up. And so like YouTube is just one of those things that has fascinated me and being able to work with these successful YouTubers and like being able to see the behind the scenes of whatever they're doing, like for me at least, more than compensates for my time.
I mean, I think my, my initial vision of being able to spread science communication to China still very much holds. And I'm not 100% focused on Veritasium now, right? Which is a good thing for balance. But Matt and Steve, making this a full-time career in the future might actually become more feasible, especially now that I have the resources and the people to like help with the translations and everything. And like I said before, I'm not even spending too much time on these channels right now, especially Veritasium, I'm spending like maybe a few hours per video. Most of the heavy lifting is done by the translation team. And so, you know, for Santa Maps, I'm currently trying to build up the team for him. Um, it's probably going to be a whole different culture. We'll see how it plays out. And then Steve Mold right now, um, like another person actually, has access to his account and is uploading there. So I've kind of already offloaded that, even though Steve is the newest addition. Um, and uh, yeah, like, you know, I I'm not spending a whole lot of time on these channels and I'm getting to see the behind the scenes of what they're doing. And as somebody pointed out in um, after the evening of unnecessary detail with Matt Parker in New York City, I'm getting paid via, you know, getting invitations to Matt's after parties. Um, so that's, that was really nice of Matt, honest. like Matt, Matt is super nice. Just throwing that out there on the internet, I am, um, like I, I was his fan before I started working with him. I'm a big, even bigger fan now that I've like met him and actually talked to him. Um, and so, same thing with Eric, by the way. I'm just, I'm not taking favorites here. The science YouTubers are all incredibly nice, or at least the ones I've met. And I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I used to think, well, you know, wouldn't it be great if Vertasia made a video about my research? Now, Science Alice doesn't care about that. Like, my micro robots are amazing, and um, that's all that matters, right? Like, that I think is they're cool. Uh, here's a little video of Antbot crawling around, by the way. Uh, link to the paper in the description, maybe, if I can remember. It'll definitely be cool if he wants to make a video on this stuff, but honestly, I'm enjoying the research a lot more than I am enjoying the, like, talking about the stuff and, you know, like, trying to communicate and publicize it, which, I mean, is a problem for researchers in general because, you know, we like doing this stuff more than we like talking about our stuff. But, you know, I, I feel like I'm on the right path. As Chinese Veritasium, I am a little bit offended by that, but, you know, like, and whatever, it's so science Alice can do her own thing. Right, oh my god, look at how pretty that is. Look at how it's gorgeous. No pun intended. Wow, it's so much quieter back here, and I can finally hear myself talk. Um, that, that is the waterfall that I just walked down from. That's, oh, no, mm. I'm not a good vlogger, as you can tell. Derek has really, like, been there for me from the start, you know? way back like I've been doing this for eight years now way back at the start I don't know what he saw in me but he gave me the permission I know I, I distinctly remember emailing a few different youtubers I watched um, and none of them gave me permission initially but then I don't remember what happened oh no with Derek actually I did like a term paper on his stuff and my professor reached out to him and then we chatted and then Derek gave me the permission um, but like I, I don't know what he saw in me right he was just like yeah you know go go do it you know like you have my permission to do whatever you want with veritasium in china um and then here we are eight years later half a almost well okay i say almost half a million subscribers it's more like it's so more like almost 40 400k subscribers um we're like at 380k right now i think don't quote me on that Another thing that's been quite interesting for me is that recently the entropy video really blew up in Chinese Veritasium on that um, on Bilibili 
and that's just not something I expected. Prior to this, the big ones were Goodell's Incompleteness Theorem, Fast Fourier Transforms, and even Piatix was one of like the most viewed videos. It might just be the case that people are more interested in the more hardcore stuff, like what does well on YouTube doesn't necessarily mean it'll do well in China. It, there is some amount of correlation, but you really can't predict these things. Translating now for Veritasium Standard Maths and Steve Mould is really just like a really good way for me now to let off steam after a busy day in the lab or a busy week. Um, and so, you know, like I mostly do their work at nights and on the weekends, which by the way, Steve, Matt and Derek, if you're reading this, I apologize for only emailing you at bizarre hours, but that, that's just kind of how my days work out at the moment. Um, you know, like obviously like this PhD still comes first and foremost ahead of everything else and everyone is on board with that. Um, actually, fun story, I got kicked out of my last group this past, not this past summer, like last summer, um, summer of 2012, wait no, 2022. Um, and I, I actually reached out to Derek and, you know, Zoomed with him and stuff and he was like, no, 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 you should totally continue on your PhD. And so, uh, like, like, I mean, you know, like all of these YouTubers are just like super nice and supportive and they're, everyone's on the same page. I, I hope Steve knows. Steve, if you don't know, this is your, um, I, I'm a PhD student. Hi, I am Chinese Steve Mould. That's not gonna catch on. Um, speaking of names though, uh, so, you know, now I've stumbled upon Chinese Veritasium as like how I describe what I do. Over the years, Derek and I have come up with a few different names. None of them quite caught on. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about Chinese Veritasium. So if anyone has like a good noun or a good description for like what I do for Veritasium and now Stan and Matt and Steve Mould, let me know because like I'm not their employee, right? They're not paying me. I wouldn't necessarily call it a partnership because it's still their YouTube channels and partnership kind of puts me like too high on that hierarchy, I feel like. Um, collaborator, maybe, but then like, again, it's still their stuff. Like I'm not, I'm not doing something totally separate and collaborating with them. Um, one of the things that um, Derek started calling me once upon a time was Chinese organizational officer, the COO, whatever the heck that is. Um, but anyway, chief organized thing, no, mm. anyway, yeah, if you, if you have good ideas for what, what this collaboration e type relationship is, let me know because, um, I need, I need something to call myself in the future. So I am at the end of this trail and that was a lot of rambling and um, staring at my phone, uh, you know, walking past people, pretending like I'm totally not just talking into my phone. Um, I used to be much better at this. I wonder why that happened. It's probably because I haven't done this for a few years, isn't it? Cool. See you guys around the internet. Uh, I don't vlog often, so there's no point in subscribing, but yeah, bye. Oh, that's what I should have done. Um, I should plug Derek, Matt, and Steve's Chinese channels. I'll link to those in the description. They're all on Bilibili, so if you have an account there, you should give them a subscribe and go watch their videos. And they're all translated with English subtitles, so English and Chinese subtitles, Mandarin. Um, and uh, yeah, I... Third time's the charm. Actually, Steve, a lot of Steve's earlier videos don't have English subtitles. I just wanted to clarify that. But the new ones will have English subtitles. And maybe I might be fixing some of his old ones. Or maybe even all of his old ones. We will see how this plays out. Okay, hopefully this is the last time I'm signing off. Bye!